Bitcoin's difficulty adjustment is more important than you think. Imagine a machine, a machine that runs itself, a machine that never stops, never sleeps, and never asks for permission. This machine is Bitcoin, but there's a hidden mechanism inside of it that almost nobody talks about. And without it, Bitcoin would collapse. Everyone knows about the 21 million supply limit. Everyone knows about having events cutting rewards every four years. But very few understand the secret heartbeat that keeps Bitcoin alive. The difficulty adjustment. Let's take a step back. Bitcoin is powered by miners. These miners are competing with one another to solve puzzles, secure the network, and earn rewards. But what happens when the number of miners goes up or down? If more miners flood in, blocks could be found too quickly. If miners leave, blocks could take too long. Both of these scenarios break the delicate rhythm of Bitcoin. Something had to be invented. That invention is the difficulty adjustment. Every 2016 blocks, roughly every two weeks, Bitcoin recalibrates itself. It takes a look at the past two weeks and asks, were blocks coming in too fast or too slow? If blocks were too fast, Bitcoin makes the puzzle harder. If blocks were too slow, it makes the puzzle easier. Like clockwork, no human intervention, no committee, no central banker. It just works. And this is where the magic lies. The difficulty adjustment is the reason Bitcoin can survive global shocks. It's why Bitcoin survived the 2017 China mining bans. It's why Bitcoin survived price crashes, hash rate drops, and industry wipeouts. Think about this. Entire mining farms have been shut down overnight. Billions of dollars in equipment unplugged. And yet, Bitcoin didn't even blink. Blocks still arrived. Transactions still settled because the difficulty adjusted. This isn't just clever engineering. It's a form of resilience we've never seen before in money. Gold can't do this. Fiat can't do this. Only Bitcoin self-heals in real time. Here's the hidden truth most people miss. The difficulty adjustment is what allows Bitcoin to outlast every attack. It's the immune system of the network. Always recalibrating, always balancing. Let me tell you a story. In 2021, China banned Bitcoin mining outright. At the time, nearly 50% of the world's Bitcoin miners were located there. Overnight, half the network disappeared. Most critics thought this was the end. They said, Bitcoin can't survive this. It's too fragile. But what happened next shocked everyone. Within just weeks, the difficulty adjusted. The network didn't collapse. Blocks slowed for a short period, but then equilibrium returned. Miners in the US, Kazakhstan, Canada, and beyond picked up the slack. Bitcoin adapted. This is the hidden genius Satoshi embedded into the code. Bitcoin doesn't rely on trust. It doesn't rely on promises. It relies on mathematics. Mathematics that constantly reshapes itself to keep time. Think of Bitcoin like a clock. Every 10 minutes, a block should tick, 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 tick. Without the difficulty adjustment, this clock would spin out of control, sometimes racing, sometimes crawling, completely unreliable. But with difficulty adjustment, Bitcoin's heartbeat never misses a beat for long. It regulates itself like an organism designed to survive anything. And here's where it gets even more fascinating. The difficulty adjustment makes Bitcoin anti-fragile. The harder it's tested, the stronger it becomes. When miners leave, the network doesn't die. It just makes mining easier for those who remain, incentivizing new miners to join. When miners flood in, rewards get harder to chase and weaker miners are flushed out. This balancing act means Bitcoin can survive in any environment. High prices, low prices, bans, booms, busts. It doesn't matter. The system keeps correcting itself. And here's the hidden layer most people miss. The difficulty adjustment doesn't just protect Bitcoin. It protects you, your transactions, your savings, your future. 
Without it, Bitcoin would have been hacked, gamed, or broken years ago. Without it, miners could have run away with control. Without it, blocks could have been so unpredictable, no one could trust the system. But because of it, Bitcoin remains the most reliable financial system ever built. It doesn't ask for bailouts. It doesn't require emergency meetings. It doesn't panic. And here's the real kicker. The difficulty adjustment is invisible to most people. It quietly ticks away in the background, never making headlines. But it's the reason you can trust Bitcoin money than any government currency. Every time you hear someone say, what if Bitcoin fails? Remember this, the difficulty adjustment is why it hasn't and why it won't. It's not luck that Bitcoin has survived 15 years of attacks. It's design, a design that ensures no matter what happens in the world, Bitcoin keeps going. Satoshi didn't just create digital money. He created a living system, a system that adapts, heals, and survives. And the difficulty adjustment is its heartbeat. So the next time you hear about Bitcoin's price, or the next halving, or the latest headline about mining, remember this hidden truth. None of it matters without the adjustment. Price can crash, miners can flee, governments can ban, but Bitcoin recalibrates over and over again, forever. That's the real secret most people don't understand. The difficulty adjustment isn't just a technical detail. It's the reason Bitcoin is indestructible. Now, here's the question you should be asking yourself. If Bitcoin has this kind of self-healing power, if it can survive anything thrown at it, what does that mean for the future of money? Do you really think a fiat currency that can be printed into oblivion, that can be manipulated by politics, that requires constant bailouts and rescues, can compete with a system that fixes itself automatically? That's why the difficulty adjustment is more important than most people think. It's the silent protector, the mechanism that guarantees Bitcoin survival long after we're gone. Most people will never hear about it. They'll never know why it matters, but you do now, and that knowledge is powerful. So if you want to understand Bitcoin deeply, don't just look at its price, look at its heartbeat. Look at the difficulty adjustment. Because hidden inside that adjustment is the proof that Bitcoin was built to last forever. And maybe, just maybe, that's why governments fear it. That's why banks dismiss it, because they can't stop it. They can't slow it down. They can't break its rhythm. Every two weeks, tick, 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 Bitcoin checks itself and continues on. A money that never dies, a system that never sleeps, a network that adapts to survive. That's Bitcoin. So now you know the hidden truth. The difficulty adjustment is the unsung hero of Bitcoin and the reason why the world will eventually run on it. And if you stayed with me this long, it means you're serious about understanding Bitcoin from first principles. So here's what you should do next. Hit the like button if this video gave you hidden knowledge you won't find anywhere else. Subscribe if you want more deep dives into the mechanics of Bitcoin that the mainstream ignores. And share this with one person who thinks Bitcoin is just about price. Because now, you know the real secret. Bitcoin isn't alive because of hype. It's alive because of the difficulty adjustment. And once you understand that, you realize Bitcoin can't be stopped. Not today, oh, not tomorrow, not ever. So, the next time someone asks you why Bitcoin has survived everything thrown at it, you can smile and say, it's all in the adjustment. Thank you for watching. This was Bitcoin from First Principles, where we uncover the truths nobody else is telling you. Stay curious, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.